Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxy Darling and in this video I will be showing you how I made this bug and his little blue friend. I got some glass stoppers at the thrift store. They were connected to an oil and vinegar set that I wasn't using so I decided to turn them into bugs. I made their little legs out of this armature wire that I wrapped around the middle and secured with a dollop of hot glue. I also added some air dry clay. I did add more wire for the clay to have some texture to stick to. At this point, I am irritated that I didn't use polymer clay for this part, but that's okay. I am smoothing the clay out with a little bit of water and a silicone tool. I do believe is for makeup, but it is being used for clay today. I continue to add clay over all the legs, the body, and the head, leaving the bum free of clay. I add a layer of acrylic paint and I taped the face with some scotch tape just so the clay doesn't get on there. I have drawn out an idea of what I want the wings to look like on a piece of tracing paper that I taped to some foam core and then I laid a piece of clear silicone mat on top. Now I mixed up some UV resin with a little bit of green pigment. I poured it into a Ziploc bag. I'm cutting the corner off, rolling it down and tying it off so I can snip off the end and use it as a piping bag. This is my first time using this kind of resin. And so right now I am realizing that this viscosity is a lot thinner than I expected. So I'm just moving much quicker more gestural with my hands and I abandon the template and just start adding dots. After this I cure it under the UV lamp, take it out and add clear UV resin in the center. You can see where I added the clear and that the green pigment kind of just washed out under the UV lamp both times that it went under. So I'm deciding that this is going to be my last layer of UV resin and this is going to be a lighter green with glitter mixed in. I'm adding it to what will be the back side of the wings. After I cure this layer, I will take these wings off the silicone mat. This silicone mat was gotten in a much larger sheet off the internet. I think I got it off Amazon, but I just cut it down to a really small size so I could put things underneath and trace it because I wanted these wings to come off the silicone and have a smooth, almost glass-like side. So this side will have texture, but it is the back. wings off the silicone mat, add a final layer of clear UV resin to what will be the front of the wings. I've decided not to use the clear resin further because I didn't want to lose any more of the pigment that I already lost. With the set of blue wings that I started off with some clear and then added blue sparkle resin and drew a line where I want to file and sand down the edges of the wings so they have a similar contour. After I reached the desired shape, I took some white acrylic paint and mixed it with clear Mod Podge to add some details. These are the backs of the wings, so this white detail will be showing through the clear and the 
clearish blue areas off the wings. After adding the white detail to the backs of the wings, I flip them over and add a thick, clear layer of Mod Podge. It's a gloss layer. I'm using it to thicken up the wings to use as an adhesive for the flat back crystals. I do have these wings laying on some silicone molds for eyes, just so in case any of the clear Mod Podge gets on the back, it doesn't stick to the foam core I have this lying on at the moment. I'm also pushing the flat backs into the Mod Podge so the adhesive slightly curves around the top to almost set it in there like a bezel set stone would be if it was metal instead of Mod Podge. Here I'm adding what are called micro beads and micro crystals. They're used for scrapbooking um, and they add a kind of iridescent and beaded texture a little bit. They're also called caviar beads, I think in the nail art world. So here is me trying to salvage these wings because I really want to use them. So I mixed the clear Mod Podge and some of my eyeshadow. It's my favorite eyeshadow, but you know, take one for the team. Um, so I'm adding all this to the back. And that way when you flip it to the front, it'll come through where all of that green pretty much burned out. I'm adding this green in the same area that I added the white to the blue wings, as you can see above. I switch from the brush to a dotting tool when adding dots, because as you can see, the first one was gonna come out wonky, and this dotting tool just makes perfect dots, so I abandoned the paintbrush. I only grab the paintbrush here to use it to make my lines a little crisper and cleaner. Here I am adding some sequins that were in the shape of flowers that I cut in half. I am using the same clear Mod Podge to add these to the bum part of the bug. Kind of like if you are familiar with lightning bugs where the, the, the little bum would light up. I'm doing this to not only add color and texture to give a nice gradation from the crystal part to the clay part, but I also noticed when I moved the crystal stopper around that if something was on the back, it would show through iridescent. So I used iridescent sequins on this one's bum as well. And now I'm using some hot glue to attach the wings to the spots that I carved a little wedge into with my file so they could nestle in there before I start adding more clay and adhesive to give it more structure. So here's me adding some more clay that I colored with eyeshadow pigment. I'm using a silicone tool, water, and PVA glue to strengthen the clay and add some, t some tackiness for the sequins and beads that I have. I did slide some head pin wire through the beads 
and a um, wire at the bottom that I snipped and rolled into a circle with round nose pliers. I did that so they would stick in the clay better and once the clay dried that it wouldn't pull right out. These are some blue plastic squares that I cut irregularly and I'm dipping them in the PVA glue before I um, kind of wedge them into the clay. And I did the same thing with the green bug. I will continue this same technique of adding the clay, glue, water, sequins, and microbeads to the sides, legs, and bellies of both bugs. Then add the cut plastic with PVA glue on the bottom. I forgot it right here, so boop. Okay. We'll add a little PVA glue to make sure these plastic buddies stick. See, I'm having difficulty getting the clay to stick to the legs again. And if you've noticed, I've left the wire exposed on the tips of these legs, and I did that for aesthetic reasons. I liked the wire showing through. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. some more glue to the legs and sides and grab some seed beads and sprinkle them in the areas I just put the adhesive. Grab a toothpick and try to move them around so the holes of the beads are not showing. I do end up abandoning the seed bead idea because it was annoying so I just covered the areas with PVA glue and sprinkled them with the micro beads in two different shades. I do add a few more details before I move on to the green bug in which I will show you how I added the antennae. I begin by adding some clay pigmented with powder and a little bit of water for stickiness to the top part of the head. And you'll see I'm having difficulty getting it to stick and so I do mix it with a little bit of PVA glue. And I'm trying to get some depth because I want these metal antennae to actually stick in the clay and not pop out once the clay dries. I made the antennae out of some brass wire that I glued some beads at the tip and added a little bit of clear UV resin and cured it for a more bulbous end, so if you will. And I took some snips cut off the end of the wire and took a pair of round nose pliers and curled the ends. Next, 
next I take some clear cabochons and dollop some pigmented UV resin in the middle and I adhere them with some PVA glue. Off camera I will add the eyelids and just like I did with the rest of the body so I didn't think I needed to show that to you or this video would never end. And here's the final. I added some gold around the eyes and to the false lashes I glued on and to the tips of the little hands just for a pop of color. see if I can get the iridescent sequins to show through. I'm going to get a little lightning bug effect. If you have any questions about any technique or material I used, please just leave it in the comments below and I'll answer as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please let the YouTube algorithm understand that by hitting the like button below. And if you're excited to see more of my creations, please subscribe so you can get notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.